You could easily use a drumstick for this first thing that we're gonna do. You just hold it between your fingers like so. And what we're gonna start with is taking our feet slightly wider than hip width apart. And we're just gonna roll out our quads, okay? Now we're gonna push down into the rolling pin slash drumstick slash, I mean, <laughs> My mom used to use a wine bottle for a rolling pin, so I guess that you could even use that if you wanted. Um, and you can just roll down the leg and just breathe through it. Now, particularly be careful around the kneecap area. You don't want to roll over the bone here, but you do want to roll around the bone. Let's come to just inside the, the thigh, so coming to the inner thigh area and getting around, you know, the bony landmarks of the knee. And then up to your hip crease. And then we'll go to the outside. And you might find that while you're doing this, that either the inside or the outside are maybe a little bit tighter or more painful, so to speak. Um, and you want it right up here, we have our hip flexor muscles. You want to go ahead just under your hip bone prominence. Um, so you can go ahead and just roll those out. And then once again, we'll maneuver back across the top of the leg and to the inside of the thigh. And then of course, we'll go to the other side. Um, I started on the left side. I know that a lot of drummers use their right leg a little bit more than their left. So now I'm moving over to the right. Of course, if you're mirroring me, you probably started with the right. Anyway, so you really want to be sure to get, like I'm feeling some tenderness up just above the knee here on the inner thigh. So you really want to be sure to get, you know, any tight spot and really focus on it. And now kind of just inside the hip bone, back across the top of the thigh, and then to the outside. Now the quad muscles are called quads because there are there's a strip of four different muscles. So that is why you might find that some of them are more tender than the other. And I'm finding a super tight spot right through here. Now I do not play the drums, but I do drive a lot. And I feel like my foot is doing a lot of that sort of pushing on the pedal a lot. And then maybe right through the front of the thigh. Okay, so that is our thigh rollout. Now, if you have a tennis ball, um, we're going to go ahead and take the tennis ball in our hand, and now we're going to roll out the shoulders. So we're going to place the tennis ball, we'll start just on the outside of the sternum, just under the clavicle, the collarbone, and we're just going to press down into that tennis ball and just roll across from the sternum to the clavicle, to the outside of the clavicle, to the front of the shoulder. And then we're going to do little circles as we roll back and forth to just release the front of the shoulders and the pecs. You can drop your head in the opposite direction as you do this. And then you can also take the tennis ball and you can place it on the top of the shoulder and do the same thing. First, we'll start by just applying a little pressure, rolling out the upper traps and then doing little circles around if that feels comfortable for you. And then the same thing on the other side. Okay, so just to the outside of the sternum, right under the collarbone, we'll roll over to the outer collarbone area, just in front of the shoulder, and roll back. Again, if you have some tight spots, you're gonna focus extra attention on them. And we're just going to do our little circles, rolling across the front of the shoulder to the outside, and then back in. See, now, you guys might be on your left shoulder. Of course, drummers, I think, probably are tight in the front of both shoulders, but um, because I'm right-handed, I'm on my right shoulder, 
this side needs a little extra attention. So I'm just spending a little more time there and then, you know, putting the, the ball on top of the shoulder and rolling out and back. Maybe do some head circles here. If you find a tight spot, just, you know, kind of apply pressure to that point and maybe do some head circles around, just trying to release anything that might be tight in your upper traps and neck area. Now we also have these little accessory muscles. I call them accessory muscles because they are where your necklace would lay across, um, called the scalings. And we can just kind of go up a little bit from the top of the clavicle, up the neck, toward our head, and get the scaling muscles. Those can get tight too. Same thing on the other side. You might hear some pops and crunches as you do this. And then just, I, I have a specially tender spot right through here. I'm just rolling cross grain on the muscle. All right, so another thing that drummers use a lot is their hands, right? Well, any musician uses their hands a lot. So we can take our tennis ball and also if you text a lot. So for me, I'm putting the tennis ball right on this meaty part of my palm just under my thumb, and I'm just doing little circles because that's my most tender spot. Now, you can roll across the palm as if you're trying to trace the inside bones, so the metacarpals up and down between the bones, just massaging, and then I just need a little extra attention on that spot, might have a special thumb spot, same thing on the other side, just rolling out the hand. Finding any spots that are tender and doing extra, giving them an extra little bit of love. Good, and then let's go ahead and just set the tennis ball aside. Let's just shake everything out. Let's see it. So let's grab your tennis ball. Okay, you can also do this with your drumstick, by the way, and I'll demonstrate that in a moment. But let's start with the tennis ball just behind the big toe, right on the back there. And we're gonna roll out that inside arch of the foot that tends to be the spot that gets tightest. Of course, everyone's different. And then we're gonna start zigzagging in small little motions across. Now I'm going from the ball of the foot to just in front of the heel. You can probably see that in your video. So to the outside of the foot and then slowly moving my way back to the inside arch area. Okay. Now we're going to stop here. I'm going to turn my foot sideways so you can see. Drop your foot and we're going to go across the bone. So we're just behind the ball of the foot and it's like we're strumming a guitar, right? We're going across the bones and the muscles. We're going cross grain. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and lift your heel again and do little circles. Find your tightest spots and just focus on massaging them out. My whole foot is tight, so the whole thing is my tight spot. And then let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Okay, same thing. You want to put, start with the ball, uh, the ball right behind the ball of the foot. And we're just going to do the inside area. Let me move this. Okay, now this spot just behind the big toe ball, ball of the foot area can be a really tight spot. It can be really tender. And also just FYI, that muscle staying locked up and tight is what contributes to bunion. I learned that from my physical therapist colleagues and friends. So I'm gonna spend extra time there. And then slowly zigzag your foot across the ball 
to the outside edge of the foot. Now going from, you know, along the pinky side metatarsal. All right, and then maneuvering back to the inside arch. Ooh, and you might find some tight spots that need a little extra love. And then come to just behind the, the big toe ball of the foot. And we're gonna drop the heel and go cross grain, right? Strumming our guitar strings. And then we're gonna lift the heel again. Do our little circles around under the arch. You know, super fun, feels good. Find your tight spots, give them a little extra attention. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how you would do this with a drumstick. But imagining that that stick was just laying on the floor, we're just gonna roll back and forth. Okay, so we're just pressing into the underside of the foot. Super easy to do. You can do it between songs if you want, even. So just to the ball of the foot and then to the front of the heel. Notice I'm not going over onto my toes. I'm stopping right where the bony landmarks are. And then of course, same thing, other side, just rolling ball of the foot, back of the ball of the foot to the front of the heel. Okay, and if you find a tight spot, give it a little extra love, a little extra attention. Again, it's probably gonna be behind that big toe. Okay, now,